Hi guys, welcome back to Wilder Beard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue of 49, written by Ryan Perot with art by Danielle D. Nicuolo, continuing the uh, co the combining of the Omega Ranger team with the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team uh, in the era where Tommy is the White Ranger and we have Rocky, Adam, and Aisha as the uh, Red, Yellow, and Black Rangers. And now Jason, Trini, and Zach are these Omega Rangers, a new team they went off to Switzerland and uh, became the Omega Rangers and now they are having to combine their forces along with the Ranger Slayer the Kimberly um, from a different universe, the universe where uh, Draken originated they are having to combine all of their forces to fight the Anointed who are being led by Kia the fourth Omega Ranger who has turned against everyone and the Anointed are um, regular aliens and other people of the universe who have gotten powers as a result of the shattering of the Morphin Grid back over in the Shattered Grid story arc. All in all, it's been some amazing power. It's been an amazing time for Power Ranger fans like myself, especially here in this Mighty Morphin era. So this issue, uh, issue of 49, basically just sees the. It's just it's a big old actiony issue, right? We're, it's it's basically the penultimate issue coming up, um, leading into issue 50, which we'll see at some point, uh, because as of this recording, we are still in the midst of everything going on with COVID-19 and the coronavirus with Diamond. And comics shutting down uh, that's the main distributor between the publishers uh, to the retailers so our LCSs can't get any new comics I think at this point boom has even stopped printing new comics until distribution starts up again but that's all subjects that I've talked about in different videos today we're going to talk about this issue right here so let's go ahead and dive into this one like I said a lot of action in this one and it is really really good stuff all right so we got this tiger zord here at teleporting to safe haven which is the planet where uh, the Omega Rangers are based where they were there working with the Emissary. They have their own vault where they lock away their, uh, the anointed, the bad guys they've been fighting. So we got uh, Billy, Tommy, Jason, and Kimberly there. The regular Kimberly, Kimberly not Ranger Slayer Kimberly, uh, going there in the Tiger Zord and then teleporting down to the planet to uh, try and, uh, you know, do what they do. Going to go fight the, the bad guys, right? So they land on the planet, they teleport in uh, undetected, but this little kid right here uh, figures out who they are um, and is going to run off and go and tell the bad guys as we see right here. So what they're trying to do is trying to get all of the innocents on, on, off of the planet. So this is like the town leader there um, next to where the rangers are headquartered. So they're trying to gather everyone up so they can teleport them to the Tiger Zord and get them away from all of the danger. But they get found out um, and that little kid goes off and snitches uh, to Kia and she shows up and uh, confronts the uh, the rest of the Rangers and so Jason's immediate instinct is to fight he says let's it's and he almost says it's morphin time and Kia says Jason wait please let's let's talk this through for once and you're like wait a minute a villain wanting to talk things through what is this and she says uh, continues on not all of our encounters need to end in a fight peace is a possibility uh, Jason's like peace you want peace let me let me take Akron and the others away from here this isn't their fight and you know it and and she says, absolutely, anyone who wishes to depart with you may do so. They're not my prisoners. So she's being uh, a little too um, uh, complacent for, for a villain. Uh, but she carries on here and says, And neither are any of you. The Power Rangers have protected and saved the universe more times than I can count. But those victories do not absolve you of the damage you've done. The universe has changed, and the protectors must change with it. Give me your morphers. Uh, no. <laughs> go ahead, go home and lead a normal night, a normal life, the kind of life that was robbed from everyone here because of the actions of Tommy Oliver. And there we go. There's the rub. She says, now I know technically you're supposed to be one of the good Tommies, but it's only a matter of time until you're not. So Kia kind of has it in her head that every Tommy Oliver everywhere is always going to turn bad based on her experiences with Lord Dragon and that whole shattered grid 
Jared thing um, that we talked about, an amazing event. And so she wants to, you know, take down Tommy because Tommy be a bad guy in, in her view. And, of course, the rest of the Rangers are like, it's Tommy. He's like the best of us. What are you, what are you talking about? And so that's where they're, they're coming to blows and having their, air quotes, disagreements. And so she says here... Um, uh, Jason says, uh, Kia, I'm sorry for what he did. I'm sorry for what happened to uh, to you and everyone here. And if I could change uh, that all, I would gladly. But I can't because I'm not him and I never will be. And she says, perhaps, but I can't allow another dragon. So it's kind of that uh, Ben Affleck in Batman versus Superman argument. If there's even a 1% chance that he could be bad, we have to take uh, some action. And so uh, only the Sith deal in absolutes like that. Uh, that's, I'm borrowing from multiple uh, different fandoms here. So um, as they're about to uh, come to blows there, the rest of the Rangers show up. Zach, Trini, Adam, Rocky, Aisha. Now we've got the whole complement, the uh, the old Rangers, the new Rangers. Everyone is there to mix it up. And I love that both Jason and Tommy call out at the same time. It's Morphin time. Great stuff. I love both of them as leaders. And I think this book has done uh, a lot with um, these two Rangers and their leadership um, of their respective teams. Because looking back at the show, and I know it's a kid's show, but we're going to dissect it a little bit, um, is that when when Tommy came in, there was a bit of a leadership uh, fight. It's almost like the writers didn't know what to do with these two characters because Tommy kind of comes in and is a natural leader, but Jason was the leader. Um, and so until Jason leaves there's kind of a weird um who who's the leader here who are we listening to uh element there and then of course when jason leaves the show um uh, our austin st john leaves the show jason leaves as well and tommy then becomes the de facto leader of the team i think until he leaves the show which was several generations of of the rangers later then we get this w computer wallpaper worthy uh uh splash page here with all of the mighty morphins uh uh, doing their thing and then you've got the omega one tier omega earth omega fire omega air power and i love that they're elementals and the the um the aesthetic of these rangers especially like this one over here omega air power reminds me a lot of avatar uh the last airbender it's been a while since i've watched that show maybe i'll uh take um my quarantine and and give that another watch um it looks like one of my cameras might be screwing up uh, a little bit hopefully that doesn't continue. Um, sorry about that, guys. All right, and so, of course, uh, Kia here says, um, very well, uh, Dane, Garrison, they're all yours, basically saying, all right, if we're going to fight, we're going to fight. And so she gets in her zord, or Dane, uh, Garrison is in um, her zord, and then Dane says, you know, we're going to fight here uh, on the ground. And so... Uh, Tommy in the in his, the, the White Ranger grabs Saba and goes over to fight Dane, leaving the rest of the Mighty Morphin Rangers uh, to k grab their weapons, call them, and then put together their super blaster. But before they can do that, Rocky is hit with some sort of black goo and can't uh, call forth the power sword to put together their uh, big bad gun. And then Dane gets a big old hit on, on Tommy there. Uh, elsewhere in the the main headquarters, uh, Z, who is basically the Omega Rangers, um, Alpha Five, and the Ranger Slayer, that Kimberly Hart from uh, Lord Draken's um, uh, alternate dimension, uh, teleport in, and they're trying to go to get this um, like universal arc. I can't. It's like a tele. It's um. It's like a, basically a big stargate uh, to travel between um, dimensions. Yeah, Z even says here, um, or you ask Kimberly, uh, or Ranger Slayer, if you're certain that you possess the mental fortitude to withstand dimensional travel. And she's like, yeah, I've done it a bunch of times, no big. Uh, they turn the corner, and then apparently uh, Kia has put together some additional uh, Z constructs here to fight them and to stand guard in the temple. And then I love Z, he, she, he says here, she printed up copies of my exoskeleton. How violating. And of course, they just uh, beat them down. And then they go in and they turn on uh, what I'm just going to call their Stargate, right? They turn it on and uh, she goes through and she he says, um, Z says, um, uh, but if you don't if you don't come back, we lose. So I'm not sure who she's going to go get, um, but I'm sure it's some Rangers that we know and love, or at least some alternate versions of some Rangers that we know in love so that's going to be really cool when she walked back through that portal with a bunch of other rangers in tow in uh, issue 50 which hopefully we'll get sooner rather than later as we attempt to flatten the curve on everything going on out in the world right 
So we got some more uh, cool Zordon Zord action here. Uh, Garrison in uh, the in the the teal, the uh, oh, Omega Omega Water Power Ranger uh, Zord is uh, just laying it out on Zack, and then they call forth the rest of the Anointed, and that's when the tide turns for the Rangers. They all uh, gang up on him. Uh, Zack and Trini are taken down pretty hard. You can see uh, the the Yellow Ranger Zord getting slammed here pretty good, and then Jason. And it can't get raise any of his team on comms, so it looks to be bad news for the Rangers. But it's the Rangers. We know that they're going to win the day uh, when issue 50 comes around. So guys, I loved issue 49 of Power Rangers. I've been loving this series for a long time now. Uh, what did you think of issue 49? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your first time here at the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.